Today we're going to go over DeWalt's new 20 volt 316 inch rivet tool model number DCF 403. They also have a quarter inch rivet tool out much more expensive than this model, but will obviously handle larger rivets. We're going to go through this top to bottom, but first I have to show you something I've never seen in a long time on any other 20 volt DeWalt tool. On this channel, we always talk about that DeWalt grip. It's very ergonomic, very comfortable. You can pick up just about any tool and say, yep, that's a DeWalt. Not so much on this rivet tool. It's very fat, very Milwaukee M12 like. If we put up this impact driver next to it, you can see the difference. Look at the difference at how my hand comes around this tool. I'm not seeing this rivet tool is not comfortable. I'm just saying it's much larger and I actually do prefer the skinny DeWalt grip, but maybe if you are someone who rivets on a daily basis, you can tell me why this is here. The only thing I can think about is that when you grab the tool, you can push harder forward with it and you have more of a heel area here in your palm that's pushing rather than just straight into that area. Hard to say, but definitely something to think about if you're using this on a shorter term basis and you love that DeWalt grip and do not like anything faster. Trigger is very simple. It is a simple push. Everything from there happens. You have a mandrel basin, or some people call them studs, whatever you want to call them. This will catch everything in the back if this is on. Uh, you can also take this off and you have multiple different nose pieces for different size rivets. That's nice. They're easily accessible from the back. You simply go in, push them out. There they are. Easy to change them over and they're stuck in there. They are not coming out. Maybe if you shook it really, really hard, they would. Um, but with that said, not happening. You can see that there's the little entryway into here for any of the mandrels. To remove the nose piece, I found it best just to start unscrewing the basic whole front end of this up until it gets really loose. Now you can take the whole piece off if you want, like I'm going to here. You don't have to, you can see the insides, but then you can just unscrew the tip and this nose piece is right here. You can switch it over with one in the back, no issue. Screw it right back on and you're ready to go in. Now the reason why I do it this way is because starting right here, you get into a little bit of a springing action. So if you were to take this nose piece off as it was just sitting here, you'll notice when I get to the end, it will spring out slightly. Now we can push in and simply screw on but I think eventually that's going to possibly mess with threads over time. So my suggestion, unscrew it a little bit. You won't mess with the spring. It'll be a lot easier on everything else. Other than that, this tool is what it is. The light on the bottom comes on with the trigger, stays on for a certain amount of time. You cannot adjust that. There's nothing happening. There's no safeties as there shouldn't be. And you're ready to rock and roll. Here I have an eighth inch stainless steel and I put the different nose piece on. We can simply come over to this. No issue, everything is good. And then push through another. I don't have the mandrel thing on the back to catch everything. You can see how that clips everything in just nice. Very simple, very easy to use. And that's one thing I really like about this. All the machining on here is absolutely excellent. So when you're switching parts and pieces back and forth, there's no real confusion. Uh, it only goes in one place. Everything fits somewhere nicely. I really like that part of this unit and it's nice that I have everything stored on the inside. Somewhere when I drop this guy on here, they cannot fall out. No matter what happens, I start pushing everything in, they will not fall out a bit. This DeWalt piece, sometimes when you go to pull the mandrel cap off, you will pull the whole piece. Depends on the amount of pressure and angle that you use coming off where you grab it. I don't see that as a big deal because even if you pull that off, you're not losing them. But for the most part, if you grab from the back, it will usually pull it off. And at this point I pushed it on so hard, it is what it is. But that could be a downside to you if you used it on a daily basis. To me, it is not. Again, I'd love to hear your opinions on that below. So if you ever get a mandrel stuck in the front, you can see they have a little arrow here on the spring. You just pull that back. It's not going to snap back. And if it does, you can just put a little more tension on this forward 
But basically all we're going to do is unscrew this area here. That's going to release that spring tension. That's what closes the jaws on the inside. We can pull this out and take a look at it. This is the tube that's going to send the mandrels to the back. Forward is going to be our claws. Those claws are held together basically by an O-ring. So when you put these together, you want to make sure that they all fit nice and somewhat tight. They're going to kind of float inside this head a little bit. This will give you a chance to remove that mandrel that was stuck in there. You can see this head will come off and that O-ring is basically all that's holding those three pieces. This guy kind of sits back in here. And this forward section is what's going to grab everything. We can easily just drop that in. That'll make things a little bit easier when we're trying to tighten everything up here. Screw this back together. In this case, you'll see how this is going to just click itself in. Up until it's tight, you're set, ready to rock and roll. We will put the head back on. We're in business. So if you're in that 20 volt battery lineup, this DeWalt rivet tool has everything you probably need for the guy who's gonna use it occasionally and also the person who's gonna use it on a consistent daily basis. Pretty nice tool. That grip really surprises me. I'm not sure what they have down in here, but it is a little bit different than most of the other DeWalt grips that are on the market. Very easy to get used to though. Interested in your comments on this tool, leave them below. Give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.